Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. First things first, I just want to say thank you for the support on pretty much everything right now. And sorry for the lack of videos lately, I've not had enough energy or time to make new videos. But I'm making one right now, so hopefully this makes it up. Basically this is a video to rank every single level in Pizza Tower based on how difficult it is to P-rank. And these are from the first times I P-ranked the level, so John Gutter is not the easiest category. I would also not recommend just going for the easiest level in the tier list if you're looking for a level to P-rank first. I highly recommend John Gutter, it's a good tutorial level for P-ranks. Also bosses will not be included. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down! Starting at the easiest, I got the crumbling tower of pizza. I feel like this one's pretty self-explanatory. The only thing that you gotta keep here is your combo. There's no secret, second lap, or any of that. It's pretty straightforward, and it's fun to peer rank in general in my opinion. <laughs> the reason why the Pig City is in the lowest tier is because I just got done with Gnome Forest, and that got me pretty good at the Gustavo and Pig Controls. And also this level was relatively short, so it didn't really take me that long to do. Attempt 57. Attempt 99. Attempt 108. <laughs> Next I've got War. It seems very intimidating at first for me, but after a while I got used to the gun mechanics and the timer and started just getting better and better at the level. So I got a P rank in like 20 minutes or something. <laughs> Waste Yard isn't too bad. Probably the hardest thing about Waste Yard is the fact that it's got a really long escape sequence. <laughs> Blood Sauce Dungeon is another relatively easy level to P rank in my opinion. This level isn't necessarily easy, but it's not hard. The hardest part is the beginning of pizza time where you have to roll and stuff. And you gotta do that twice because of the second lap. Other than that, not too hard. Next we have Don't Make a Sound. This level is also pretty easy because there's enemies everywhere. It's pretty hard to avoid them considering the fact that they're supposed to be there because if you stay in front of them for an amount of time, then they alert the top end monsters. But if you kill them in time, then you should keep your combo going. Not to mention the fact that you get a gun at the end of the level. I put John Gutter in annoying tier because it took me a long time to figure out how to get the P rank. However, it was really satisfying to get for the first time. It's not much to say about the level other than it's a fun level to P rank in general. Next we got Fast Food Saloon. For some reason a lot of people say they don't really like this level, but in my opinion it's the best fun world too. It's got a really good soundtrack, it's really fun to P rank, and it's just very thrilling overall. People would say they don't like it because of the smug horse, I think, but on your second playthrough, or your P rank playthrough, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Next I got Deep Dish 9. The only reason why I put it in annoying tier is because I feel like that you have to go out of your way to do things to get the P rank when usually it's on the way of the level. Like the janitor's office for an example. It's annoying to get to, there's a good chance that you might lose your combo if you're not careful. But I really like this level, it's exciting, I always really like space levels. However, I'm kinda sad that they did not have like moon gravity. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. Hello. That's you, that's how dumb you sound. <laughs> I put Pizza Escape in this stupid tier because of the night and the night alone. I don't know why, I just do not like their controls. The night's controls feel off to me. Maybe it's because of the fact that it's really slow and it's very easy to lose your P rank in that one part where you gotta get one of the top ends in the secrets and all that, so. For Ancient Cheese, I put it here because it's in my opinion, by far the hardest level of World 1 to P rank. World 1 is the first one to fully get out of the competition for P rank. Anyway, Agent Cheese is here because of the fact that I just screwed it up so many times. The level's not hard now, but it was then, and it was stupid then. I don't like the bomb mechanic. Next I have Fun Farm. I personally really like this level, I like Mort the Chicken in general. It's crazy how they made a whole game on the PS1 all about Mort the Chicken from this game. But yeah, level's fun, kind of stupid to P-rank, but other than that, it's not too bad, just takes a long time to P-rank. 
next we got Peppy Bot Factory. Pretty much all my friends that had this game before me, who have already beaten the game, said that this level would be a pain to peer rank, but it wasn't as bad. They mainly said this because of the, all the outlets, but other than that, it's just like very long, time consuming to do. Outlets didn't really trick me up, it's really just the dumb conveyor belt things, so the treadmills and everything. So stupid. That's why it's in the stupid tier, because it's stupid. <laughs> Golf. Golf is the next level. I only put it here because it's just stupidly long, and I messed up the ending twice with the P-Rank and everything. But the song's a banger, so it's not too bad. And I like the golfing mechanic, I think it's funny. Next we got O oh Shirt. The only reason why I put O oh Poop in this tier is because it's just long. The escape sequence is long. There's a bunch of bananas everywhere. Cardboard cutouts of Pizza Boy just constantly kick you. Oh crap, it's not that fun to pee rank. But it's a good it's a good experience for later levels. So yeah, that's why I put O oh feces in the stupid tier. Next we got refrigerator, refrigerator. Refri fr 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 Freezerator. I don't know how to pronounce that name. The reason why I put refrigerator, refrigerator, wait, fr fr wait, refr refrigerator, refrigerator, freezerator in the stupid tier is because I don't really like ice levels that much. And also that the second lap is very, very annoying. Especially the beginning part where you gotta like climb the wall, but then like also wrap around the wall at the same time. But you don't know how to do that because it's not a mechanic in the game. And then you end up losing your peering because you lose your combo and then you're just having a bad day. Peering goes away. Like, S or something stupid. So it's in the stupid tier because of S for stupid. Get like S rank all the time. The second lap, boom, I was here. Almost got the beer rank. Boom. S. <laughs> Oregano Desert. I feel like out of all the levels, this one took by far the longest. Like to the point where it was literally just muscle memory and I was looking at a YouTube video the majority of the time. And I think that's the main reason why I did not do so well, because I just like constantly always messed up at that part where you gotta like get to the second secret or whatever. I think the second secret. Oh yeah yeah, second secret, the one with the dynamite and the cows and all that. Yeah, that one's stupid. I always mess up there. By the time you finally make it to the UFO, you get kicked around by cows a lot. By a cows. You get kicked around by cows a lot. But when I finally got it, I finally moved on to other levels that are not as bad. Like Fast Food Saloon and Waste Yard and Fun Farm. And that wraps up World 2 for uh, Hardest P Rank. Hardest P Rank. It's a nice wrap up to the World 2 Hardest P Ranks, in my opinion. It's not a fact, it's an opinion. <laughs> Next we got Crust Cove, and oh my goodness. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I just, I just, I just hate this level. I hate it now. But then, I, whenever I listen to the music from that level again, I just don't, I don't care about the problems I had. It's got good music. It, good, good music. I like the music. The barrel power up is stupid. Nobody really likes it. But I'm just glad I knew that I could not hold shift the whole time and actually walk. That would have been so problematic. <laughs> But pizza scare, pizza scare, world five, pizza scare. I hate it so much. This level's very long. The king ghost whatever is stupid. Does whatever he wants, ruins P ranks all the time. It took me hours just to finally like even get close to doing the second lap. Because of the stupid ramp at the end. You know the the ramp like by by the beginning of the level. You're know, like you, you get the crucifix or whatever, and you like go to the ramp, you can boost it up and what and whatnot. Yeah, if you do that during the escape, which is very easy by the way, your peer rank's done, your peer rank's over. And I did that like 20 times, and oh my goodness, it's even more annoying so that you cannot like consistently do any of the secrets when it's not during pizza time. Everything is during pizza time, which is, which is just so annoying. But yeah, pizza scares stupid. I could rant 
about Gnome Forest for like 20 minutes. And I'm probably not even joking. I don't know how long I can rant for. I'm gonna give like a short rant. Okay, Norm Forest, where do I begin? Oh yeah, the fact that the level's just dumb overall, stupid. Gustavo and Brick Controls feel so janky in this level, especially when you're trying to peer rank it, that it's just, it just, it just made me cry. Out of frustration. That's how stupid it was. There are many points in the level that can easily ruin your peer rank. Rather it be the fact that there's like no top ends or like points to get for like 10 minutes or the fact that there's pickles everywhere and they just teleport right in front of you and it's nearly impossible to parry them easily ruin your combo and that's basically the entire level secrets are not hard to get it's just that everything else works together in like the worst way possible and the fact that the level is just long in general does not help at all either like it takes like 10 minutes to do the level and of course i've lost the level with the p rank right at the door like twice and it's stupid it's so incredibly stupid the only thing that's like not stupid at all is pizza time but even that's like horrible compared to just like crushed cove in general which is number three on this list it's very very bad to like introduce gustavo and brick like this if you're trying to do a P rank because it made Pig City so easy and I really like Pig City I would have like wanted to do Pig City even more because it's got an even better soundtrack yet got Gnome Forest here just like add more things or like take away some things like the fact that the pickles are just stupid overall like I, I, I've, I've attempted this level so many times that the thought of doing it again just like made me cry that's how that's how mad I was. I hated it. I hated I hate I hate this level. It's not entirely true. It's a it's a good level if you're doing like a casual playthrough, but not a P rank. If you're trying to P rank this level, then it's stupid. Don't do it. You're only gonna make us all miserable. Just don't do it. Anyway, that wraps up pretty much everything thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoy this video and you want to see more please consider subscribing because it helps the channel again i'm so sorry for not uploading recently I'm just tired all the time now i got like no time it's testing season yay but anyway thank you so much for watching and have a great day